Hi everybody, this is Alan Fine and I am here at ILTM and we are talking with Christina Gambini who is the Regional Vice President Latin America and the Caribbean for Hyatt and we're also with Erica Doyne who is the Senior Vice President Marketing and Communication for the Inclusive Collection. So that was a mouthful and believe me they have a lot of properties. They're going to they're going to have a mouthful too as we talk about them all here on Insider Travel Report. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so no, much. Thank you so we much for having it. us. We're so excited. <laughs> That's great. So I'm excited to learn, what does the acquisition of Apple Leisure Group mean to Hyatt? No, absolutely. For those of you that are not aware, Hyatt acquired the Apple Leisure Group in November of 2021. Soon after that, in May of 2022, announced the rollout of the all-new Hyatt Inclusive Collection. And the goal with this was that Hyatt really wanted the ability to double down on all-inclusive and really lean into the leisure space. This is definitely the demand and the trends that we're seeing in the industry today. All right, so, so what's fueling the growth in the luxury market and, and the all-inclusive market too? Yeah, so we have seen that incredible growth in leisure demand and that is really fueling our growth. We have seen significant increases in that leisure travel demand, but also particularly revamping in the group and business travel space. And that is really what has allowed us to fuel that growth. In the second quarter globally, we announced our largest or our strongest performance in Hyatt history. Really, and that is what we are translating into being into area, growing in areas where our customers want to be. Right, which is all-inclusive and luxury. So how is all-inclusive evolving for you guys? Because it's not like everybody else's. No, I think what's really important is that Heights Inclusive Collection is reimagining the way that people stay all-inclusive. And the Inclusive Collection has different signature vacation concepts, one being unlimited luxury, but one also being endless privileges. And this is a completely new way that we're offering personalized services throughout someone's stay. So it includes things like no check-in or check-out times. It includes things like 24-hour room service, but also so in-suite private dining, 24-hour laundry service, gourmet a la carte dining without reservations required, and included spa treatments. So this is not what used to be with the wristbands and the cheap vodka and the buffets and the rowdy spring breakers. This is a true luxury all-inclusive experience that's being offered in an entirely new way. But you think of these luxury guests that are spending all this money, are they interested in a uh perks and benefits, a loyalty program, for example? Absolutely. Okay, I yeah. think what we do know is that no matter what the trends are, that people want brands that are loyal to them and they're loyal to brands that reward them. So it's reciprical. Right? It's reciprocal. And I think what's perfect is that now we have the World of Hyatt loyalty program. So the inclusive collection now has over 70 properties um, that are now in the World of Hyatt program. We went live with all the properties in the Americas and soon to follow are the properties from Europe that are coming. And we have carefully crafted special offers such as our bonus journeys with double points, which is available to the entire portfolio with over 1,100 properties. But then in addition to that, in addition to double points, now you can have qualifying tier nights that count double towards your loyalty status for inclusive collection properties only. So a bargain's a bargain. Let's, a bargain's a yeah, bargain. I, I want to travel luxury, but I want to make sure that my, my the, the brand that I enjoy is loyal to me too. Absolutely. All right, so um, let's now, do you want to talk about properties, some new ones coming up? Great. Yeah, we're really excited. In Latin America and the Caribbean in particular, we focus on thoughtful growth, growing, in, growing with intent, be opening in markets where our customers want to be. So we are very excited to open some new brands in new markets and also introduce new properties. So we have in uh, Mexico, a number of properties opening, including Rancho Pescadero and Todos Santos, which will focus on wellness and sustainability. Uh, Numu opening in San Miguel de Allende, again, a really authentic, beautiful artist haven in Mexico. We also welcome the addition of our Park Hyatt brand expanding in Mexico with Park Hyatt Los Cabos in 2023 and Park Hyatt Mexico City in 2024. And we do have some notable additions as well in an all-inclusive 
exclusives, please. Yes, thank you so much. So we recently just opened Secrets Moshe in Playa del Carmen, which is an incredibly beautiful property that has a very earthy and modern feel with three man-made cenotes that are built into the property. Zoetry Casa del Mar in Los Cabos, which is a private 52 suite boutique property um, that has a very Spanish hacienda type of style. We are in process of launching our new concept, Secrets Impression which is an entirely new way to experience endless privileges that also includes personalized in-room private butlers catering to every different type of need. And with that, we're gonna be opening Secrets Impression Moshe by the end of this year in Playa del Carmen, as well as Secrets Impression Isla Mujeres on the island of Isla Mujeres. Wow, well, that's a lot. Do you know, travel advisors are trying to get their arms around it. It's not easy. So where should they go to get all the information? Is there a special portal for them where they can learn? Absolutely, yeah. too. So I'll let you go first. Yeah, we have a it. number of tools for our advisors. First being our luxury lifestyle and leisure sales team, which has doubled in size in the last year really to support that valuable segment of travel advisors. We also have our Hyatt Prebray program catering to our top agency supporters, which does have a website with all the incredible information on the program, all of our properties, including the all-inclusive collection. And I know that the all-inclusive collection has uh, some of their own tools for the advisors. But is there a URL that they should be using? Um, they can, if they're a Privé advisor, it's HyattPrivé.com. Um, or if they have a global contact they can reach out to them as well absolutely and for the inclusive collection it's really important that we're focused on education and loyalty as well and so we have a travel advisor portal which is available that you can actually get to through Hyatt site if you go through inclusive collection with that we also have an education program so you're able to actually take a course online and become an official educated and loyal agent with different perks and benefits, as well as a point-based loyalty program. So you as the travel advisor can make bookings at all of these properties and register those to earn things like cash, free nights, merchandise, or on-property benefits. It's amazing the amount of people and the energy here at ILTM, and that's an, uh, indicative of coming out of a pause. What words of advice do you have for travel advisors at this time? I would say continue what you're doing. We realize how valuable you are to us. We appreciate your support, and we thank you so much. So just keep doing your amazing things. Absolutely. I would say coming out of the pandemic, right, we're continuing to make sure that we're innovating and we're changing the landscape and thinking about things differently. So as the world is evolving, I would say continue to use the tools that you have in terms of your resources, your education, any webinars, anything that you can do. And please come and visit us and experience the, um, the property firsthand. And may I just say, uh, you're a large company, but boy, do you seem nimble by the way you're acting and changing and reacting. And so it's another reason for the travel advisors to really check in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, we agree. I mean, it's one of my favorite things about the organization is that ability and willingness to experience, to lead with empathy, to, empathy, to really meet guests where they want to be met. Thank you for talking. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.